The Lasso System, now in its fourth year of development as part of the Kate Gleason College of Engineering's Multidisciplinary Senior Design Program, is a distributed network of passive ground stations which work together to track orbital satellites. The more ground stations there are connected to the network, the better the system will perform, so they're designed to be inexpensive and constructible with commercially available off-the-shelf materials. Our first several stations will be located at educational institutions around the upstate New York area, and we hope to partner with others near and far as the project continues. LASSO uses time difference of arrival tracking. This means the ground stations simply listen for signals and record the time they heard them. If multiple stations hear the same signal, the difference in these times provides information about where the signal came from. This technique requires the stations to be highly synchronized, and our team spent a lot of our time improving the existing system synchronization. By using a GPS module's pulse per second output and an RF switch, we've brought synchronization down to a sub-microsecond level, which we believe is enough to track objects in low Earth orbit. Once the stations are synchronized and receiving signals, tracking an object becomes a purely mathematical problem. Each pair of stations can narrow its location down to a 3D shape called a hyperboloid. With multiple station pairs, finding the object boils down to finding intersections of these shapes. To find those intersections, we implemented a well-known optimization technique called gradient descent. Ultimately, our system will be capable of locating and logging a satellite's position many times throughout its orbit. Using a set of its known locations, an estimate of its orbit can be calculated, logged into our database, and made available to the LASSO system's users. We'd like to extend a special thanks to our project guide, Charlie Hacker, as well as two other RIT staff members, Marty Pape and Jim Stefano, for all their help throughout these past two semesters. Additionally, several students who previously worked on the project were very helpful in getting us up and running, Matthew Krebs and Anthony Ianuzzi. 